Hey guys, in this video I am going to show you a dangerous explosive version on a classic barking dog chemical reaction. So, the classic version is performed by adding some carbon disulfide and nitrous oxide into a long and narrow vessel, like a graduated cylinder or a test tube. It's when covered with a watch glass to let carbon disulfide and nitrous oxide vapors mix, and after all that the mixture is ignited. The sound that goes along the reaction resembles a dog bark, hence the name Barking Dog Reaction. By the way, the concentration of initial substances can be adjusted, so that the reaction will proceed silently and leave the inner walls of the vessel covered with elemental sulfur. Now let's move on to explosive barking dog reaction. For this one, we'll take liquid nitrous oxide and liquid hydrogen sulfide produced in my previous video. You should definitely see it as it has lots of unique reactions hydrogen sulfide, as well as a low use count. Mixing these two liquefied gases will get us a quite reactive mixture. Take a look at how it behaves when ignited. Due to a large amount of immediate sulfur, the petri dish turned yellow-orange. Now let's perform this experiment in a graduated cylinder. First, I'll ignite the mixture right away, so it burns with a fascinating reactive flame. Then I'll let the gases mix and ignite them. Yeah, the measuring cylinder was not quite ready for its sudden changes in temperature. So let's try to repeat this experiment in a heat-resistant test tube. Just like the petri dish in the previous experiment, the test tube got covered with a layer of elemental sulfur. Next, I'm going to show a couple of outtakes, one of which I captured on a high-speed camera. Let's see what came of it. You will see explosive barking dog reaction if you wait a little, while the two gases got mixed.
Now, I will leave a watch glass on the test tube for a half a minute and then ignite the mixture. In my video about catalytic properties of platinum, I showed you that it's possible to ignite a hydrogen and oxygen mixture without using fire just by adding some platinum powder to it. Using potassium superoxide, a similar experiment can be performed with a hydrogen sulfide and nitrous oxide mixture, since potassium superoxide ignites hydrogen sulfide vapors with this. and causes a very violent reaction with liquid hydrogen sulfide. So guys, write in the comments if you liked this dangerous twist of the classic barking dog reaction. What do you think about the cause of the explosion? What can it be? Hope you enjoyed, see you in the next video.